We got a winner. We got a winner. Okay, that was lame. Welcome back, guys. It's the Lost Mentality again. I've been out for a little bit now. I want to apologize. I had a computer crash. Now that crash was because of a graphics card I had. So it was time to get a new one. Now in this comparison video, we're going to be taking 5700 XT, which is the flagship 1440p graphics card from AMD, and comparing it against NVIDIA's GTX 1070, which is what I had prior. So let's go ahead and start off by opening this up. Satisfaction. Ooh -wee. Just looks like money. It's one of the most cost effective GPUs in the modern market. It's roughly as good as the uh, 2070 Super, roughly give or take one or two percent but it's about $100 cheaper. And I am a friend of bargains. I love bargains. I got a letter. Thank you for choosing a MSI product. It's MSI. Ooh, -hoo. that just looks nice. This feels like good quality product. I like the fact that the back is covered up. So in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the 5700 XT. Now when it comes down to this graphics card, it just came out July of 2019. It was said to be faster than the RTX 2070 at a price point $100 cheaper. AMD smashed NVIDIA. NVIDIA didn't know what to do. Ever since they started with being able to mine Bitcoin with graphics cards, prices of graphics cards skyrocketed. I mean, you could get the 2080 Ti for $1,200. You could buy a car for that. Of course, it's not going to be a nice car, but it's a car. AMD, Team Red, has always been my favorite team. Now, the reason I say that, they have innovative products that are relatively competitive and usually cheaper than NVIDIA or Intel. Intel on the CPU side, NVIDIA on the graphics card side. They have a software called Relive, which does the exact same thing as NVIDIA Shadowplay. If you look up on user benchmarks, the 5700 XT versus the 2070 Super, it says that the 5700 XT is 1% faster than the 2070 Super. But if you look at every game out there, the 2070 Super will have higher frame rates than the 5700 XT. So how is this 1% better? I found the key point that this is 1% better is because even though with the lower frame rate speeds, when it comes to the productivity, this thing is ridiculous. It actually keeps up with the 2080 Ti when it comes down to productivity. Now what is productivity? Productivity is whenever you need to encode or decode or whenever it comes time to exporting that media. For example, with the 1070, which is the card that was previously in my computer, it takes roughly 20 minutes to encode a 10 minute long 1080p video. With the 5700 XT, a 10 minute video took 5 minutes to export. That's a 400% decrease in time to export a video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and start off by uninstalling the 1070 and installing the 5700 XT.
Now that that's done, a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to compare both of them with Furmark, which is supposed to be for graphics cards. We're going to also do it with Heaven is a really extremely rendered 3D scene that will be able to stress test the GPU. And then we're also going to do it with Grand Theft Auto 5. Then we're going to talk about the changes in quality of life standing with this new graphics card. Keep watching. So I ran Furmark on both GPUs. Now the 1070 versus the 5700 XT. 34 minimum, whereas a 48 minimum. So benchmarking heaven here, you'll see that it's about 140% improvement from the 1070 to the 5700 XT, which is exponential difference. It's definitely worth upgrading too. Now, the next thing that we're going to be putting in here is going to be Grand Theft Auto. Everything is on Ultra. Now, we are only running this at 1080, just to see how, uh, how things look. Now, top left is going to be NVIDIA. Bottom right is going to be the AMD. So the 5700 XT, as you can see here, is clearly about 50% better. You can also notice that it loads faster. So the top left loaded faster there, bottom right. But look at the frame difference. 120, whereas the one on top was at 80. Thanks for checking that out, guys. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. It's going to be right down there to keep up with all the quality content that I put out. My name is Lost Mentality. F everybody. Woo! this. It's not going on YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha!